नमस्कार आदाब सश्रियाकाल सो समाइम्स यू डोंट नीड टू यूज द पेन टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन ऑफ सी एस आई आर यू जी सी नेट ओके इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन दिसंबर देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन इन कॉम्प्लेक्स एनालिसिस विच वॉज कम्प्लीटली बेस्ड ऑन दिस ओपन मैपिंग थ्योरम ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड रीड दिस थ्योरम एंड वी शुड ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दिस थ्योरम वर द थ्योरम इज सेंग इफ एफ इज अ नॉन कॉन्स्टेंट एनालिटिक फंक्शन देन एफ ऑफ जी इज ओपन इन सी फॉर एवरी ओपन सबसेट जी ऑफ सी ओके वी शैल यूज द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दिस थ्योरम डायरेक्टली ऑन दिस क्वेश्चन okay so first of all c this is your p of z which is given as a series summation n from 1 to n a n z to the power n where n is finite okay but greater than or equal to 1 and your a n is real but a n is not equals to 0 and this makes sense why this makes sense because you need a function which is non constant analytic function okay you know that if you shall break this series then you shall get a polynomial and being polynomial it is analytic okay so our pz is analytic so the first condition is well satisfied that it is analytic function okay is analytic and non constant how can you justify that it is non constant since an is not equals to 0 since an is not equals to 0 and z to the power n is here therefore we can say that pz is analytic and non constant so these two conditions that if your function is non constant analytic so yes our function is our function pz is non constant analytic function the second thing now a d is given here so your d is what your d is an unit circle without boundary because your d is what w belongs to c all the complex numbers such that mod w is less than 1 means this interior part of this unit circle okay so yes for every so what can you say your pz is analytic and non constant and your d is open okay we have made a very beautiful lecture on open set in the playlist you can go for that so your d is what open set so now you don't need to use the pen you will say as pz is non constant analytic and d is open therefore from this open mapping theorem p of d is open why because for any function f a non constant analytic function f f of g is open in c for every open subset g of c and the same case is here p of z is a non constant analytic function d is open therefore p of d is open so yes option b is the correct option as this is the question from section c so more than one answer may be correct another result that should be remembered is image of a bounded set under a continuous map is bounded so the first thing you can see p of z is continuous certainly p of z is analytic so certainly p of z is continuous and uh, your d is bounded as well you can see this d is bounded so as d is bounded and p of z is continuous d is bounded why because you can see the bounded set here uh, the definition of bounded set from the definition of bounded set d is obviously bounded because it contains all the points inside this circle okay this uh, w modulus of w is less than 1 so this is bounded and as pz is continuous and d uh, is bounded therefore p of d is bounded as well okay so you have two options correct you have two correct options p of d is open and 
P of D is bounded. So yes, you have done it. Option B and D is the correct answer. Option B and D is the correct answer. Okay. So we shall start the complex in integration in the coming lectures. Okay. We shall do all the questions topic wise. Okay. So you don't need to worry. You may ask your doubts as well in complex analysis. So we shall meet in the next lecture. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.